So you're excited. You've just got your 1,000 subscribers and you've just hit your 4,000 YouTube watch hours. You head over to your Earn page and you excitedly apply to be a monetized partner of YouTube. A few days later, you get back a email from YouTube saying that you, unfortunately, due to reuse content, you have not been successful in your application. YouTube then gives you 14 days to appeal this decision. Uh, you just need to send them a video. So you make yourself a video, you send it off to YouTube, and 24 hours later, you get rejected again. What do you do? How do we turn this into this? Contrary to what a lot of YouTubers and influencers will tell you, you will not get monetized for lazy content. Now, lazy content to YouTube will mean things like uh, inspirational quotes over a background video with music playing, using other people's content and simply adding uh, lines of text, uh, ambient videos, things like rain videos, um, white noise videos. These sort of things will not get you monetized. My name is Tony from Custom PCs Australia, and I'm here to tell you my personal journey to becoming monetized with YouTube. I too made the mistake of using uh, lazy content to get my watch hours up. When I applied, uh, I was met with the reused content rejection. Um, I uploaded a video, um, which I, actually looking back on it now, was lazy as well, um, thinking it would just happen, um, but that was rejected. Um, so I put a bit of effort into it, and I'm going to um, show you how I did it. For me, monetization was more about uh, being able to use YouTube shopping for my custom PC business. Uh, I won't say that um, you know making a little bit of money from my videos wasn't an incentive as well, um, but it was not my main purpose. But it was actually really important for me to get my business on YouTube shopping. Here is an example of uh, an ambient sound video. Um, so these are getting harder and harder to monetize. YouTube want to see that you're putting effort into your videos. Using your actual voice or your image on screen for the large majority of it goes a long way to help YouTube see that you're making original content. It's become so flooded with boring motivational videos, ambient sound, and a billion people uploading the same content that it appears they've had enough and they're not handing out monetization to just anyone. So what did I do? I decided to delete all the lazy content from my channel, uh, which was just designed to get me watch hours. I bought myself a stream cam, I bought myself a microphone, and I started to create content uh, that actually took a bit of time to create. Now, when I finally got my watch hours up uh, over 4,000 again, uh, I submitted a, another application to be monetized on YouTube. Now, unfortunately, I was rejected again, even though I got rid of everything I considered lazy. Um, and what YouTube call reused um, content. I thought I'd gotten rid of all that. Now, reused content, you may think, oh, I'm not using anybody else's uh, content. I'm creating my own. But reused content to YouTube does mean anything that either has been used by other people or uh, is very lazy in its construction. Now, after a refusal from YouTube, um, they do give you 14 days to appeal the decision. Now, this is by way of a five minute video. Having gone through this process before, I wasn't too keen on my chances, but I wanted to give myself the best opportunity as it was really important to my business. So what do YouTube want to see in this video? What will give you the best chance to get partner status with YouTube? This is how I constructed my appeal video. I'll show you the full appeal video after letting you know the guidelines I followed. Remember, your application may have been denied by a computer. This time, a real person will be watching your appeal. Do not get angry about not being partnered, no matter how unfair you may think this is. Being respectful and polite can only help your presentation. So, I'm going to number eight tips here that I used. Number one, in the first 30 seconds, you must show your channel address. So you can either mention this or bring up text on the screen. Um, that is uh, one of the must-dos and is a non-negotiable. So within 30 seconds, show your channel address. Number two, let YouTube know what your channel is about and what type of content you intend to create in the future. Number three, YouTube want to know how you get your content and how you come up with ideas for new ones. Show them your equipment. Tell them how you get your video. If it's desktop recording, video recording, mobile phone recording, camera stills, 
Tell them everything. Number four, show them a recent upload and then give a bit of detail about how you recorded it. Five, show them the software tools you use to create content, e.g. OBS, Wondershare, Premiere Pro, and show them you know how to use it. Also show them your script process. Showing a script to the camera helps with this. This can even be handwritten. They just want to see that you are putting in the time to make a great video. Number six, show them an example of how you make a video in your chosen uh, software. Uh, as an example, in my video, I uh, actually showed them my YouTube appeal video and how I created that. Um, so yeah, that's a really good tip. Number seven, tell them any other products you use. So uh, maybe Illustrator for graphics, Canva for thumbnails, anything that you use to create your content, uh, more information, the better. Number eight, to close, reiterate that all the content on your channel is your own. Uh, you have not uh, used lazy content, you have not taken other people's videos, uh, and you've really put effort into those videos on your channel. Now, one thing I, I really have to stress is that your video cannot be over five minutes. Uh, I think it's safer to keep it at around 457, 458, but anywhere prior to five, you do run the risk, uh, even one second over five minutes, that they may not look at it. Um, so, yeah, very, very important to keep that minute, um, video at five minutes or under. So, all of that being taken into account, I'm now going to show you my video that I sent to YouTube uh, and was successful with. Hi YouTube, my name is Tony O'Neill. I'm from Custom PCs Australia. I've got a YouTube channel. Um, I applied for monetization and I was refused based on reused content. Um, my channel is Custom PCs Australia. I've just got it up here on the screen now. Um, so yeah, I, I suppose I just wanted to, to show you what my content is, um, what my channel's about. So uh, my content is based around computers, um, tips and, and tricks to help people uh, out with their computer problems. Um, I also do uh, reviews of um, computer-related products, um, game reviews, game playthroughs, so anything PC-related is pretty much what I do. Um, here's my content here. Um, nothing I have on any of my videos um, has been anything but my own content, so um, that's content that I've created myself. Um, I'll, I'll show you my setup. So here's my setup. Uh, I have uh, two computer monitors. I have my Logitech Stream Cam. I have my Rode microphone. Uh, just lighting. Uh, my green screen. Uh, the camera I'm using, um, obviously I have that as well. Uh, and my PC. Uh, so this is a, a, an example of one of my recent uploads. So this is a, a review of a video game console. <clears throat> So this is all filmed by myself um, using one of my DSLR cameras. Um, this is footage um, that I actually took from my TV. So plugging the console into the TV uh, and then using my cameras to record that footage. Um, I use OBS. Um, so uh, OBS is whenever I have, like you're seeing now, so you see my face in the, the footage now. Uh, so this is OBS, this is how I grab um, a lot of my content and how I do my, um, my picture on my videos. Uh, now obviously uh, I'm showing you my screen here so um, you're going to see yeah, quite a few mirror effects there. Um, my Logitech Stream Cam is here, um, that's my capture screen. Uh, if I want to have an image there I can have an image instead of uh, the Stream Cam there. Uh, so I do all my recording in Wondershare. Um, all of my YouTube captions, uh, sorry, YouTube thumbnails are done through Canva Pro. So I jump onto Canva and, and make my um, my thumbnails. This is actually my YouTube appeal video. So you can see here, um, if we go to media, these are all the content I'm using, which is now brought down into here. Um, at the start there, I've just put in some text. I've put in transitions between each of the scenes. Um, separate recorded voice here through Wondershare. 
Um, so this is how I go about making any content, whether I've recorded it myself through the computer or, or outsource, um, you know, using my camera. So either way, I'll import that content into Wondershare. So how I come up with ideas for my content, um, I look around um, Google to find out what sort of issues people are having with their computers and I create videos to solve those issues. I also create videos based on my customers' feedback for my computers and what sort of things they'd like to see. Uh, and I also look for whatever games are top trending um, and I'll uh, create videos on those. So um, that's my um, process for creating videos. Um, so in short, my, my content um, either comes from recording my desktop screen myself, um, especially with computer tips and tricks. Um, gameplay videos are all screen recorded, either from a PlayStation or from my PC. Um, anything external is recorded with a camera. Um, for example, the, um, the video that you saw earlier, um, that's just my camera set up. Uh, and then imported into Wondershare, where all my transitions, um, lighting, uh, all that sort of thing are handled in Wondershare as well. Um, all of my scripts, so basically I'll do a script, um, I'll put that up into Word. Um, I will type it out and then I'll have that up near the camera so I can read off that during during the videos. Um, yeah, look, I really, um, really hope that um, I can be let into the program. Uh, it's really important for my business to be able to use YouTube shopping. Um, at the moment, my um, Shopify store, which is quite successful, um, can't use YouTube shopping because I'm not monetized. So that's my, my main purpose for this. Um, thank you for watching. Um, yeah. Hope it all goes well. Thank you. So that was it. Uh, I really hoped uh, the tips I've given you in this video um, uh, have helped uh, and that anyone struggling to be monetized on YouTube can take a bit of heart that uh, it just takes a little bit of effort. Um, lazy content is just such a no-no for YouTube these days. Um, but if I've helped anyone, a like would be really appreciated on the video and um, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.